Hey everyone, today I am painting a lion inspired by one or actually two previous works I did. I will pop them on the screen for you to see and if you want to know more about them, I have talked briefly on Instagram what each painting represents. I made this piece to see what other color combos I could do or what else I could experiment with. It's almost like mixing everything I know with a little sparkle of something new, which is a great way to evolve in art. Making something that we kind of know how to do so that we can be confident in our brush strokes, but also adding the new things makes us go out of our comfort zone. This can be applied to lots of things in life. It is always super daunting to do something we haven't tried, so I think the best way to approach it is by making some small steps, and instead of going out of the comfort zone, we broaden its horizons. I always start by laying down the base colors and as you can see I am not being super careful about it and I will probably never change this. I like to see textures in my art and this also allows me to see the big color areas and see if I like it and then build up details. If I would start with very refined areas in my pieces I would get lost very quickly and the work would not look so cohesive. I rely on my brush strokes that guide the way of the piece. In the future I will also paint this on a bigger scale, so it's almost like a sketch or thumbnail for it. Lately, I have shifted my mind and had to do a huge step in my self-growth, which clearly shows in my Instagram feed where suddenly everything seems brighter and sparklier, which is how I feel.
I think it started with the dear post where I finally let go of a lot of things that had been stuck in my mind negatively affecting my daily life. One of them was to get out of the mindset to draw for others. I was always thinking, okay, this is what people like, so that's what I will give. I was a people pleaser, but this kind of way of thinking made me lose myself. All my time was filled with other people's needs, and mine got pushed away. But with some pushing and pulling from so many different places, friends and family, good things, bad things, it finally led me to look at myself. And it's a hard thing to do for everyone. No one wants to see their bad flaws, but only when we truly know ourselves, we can start working towards the version we want to be or hope to be. It's a long process and it never goes smoothly. There are setbacks and just life is in the way in general. But with the shift in mindset, we can always push through. I don't know where this will lead me. I just hope I can stay on this path because it has given me some fresh air and my mind is less foggy. This piece I painted keeping in mind the flow of life and upcoming spring that brings new opportunities. I call this piece Spring Breeze, where we are like a mighty lion, ready for the upcoming tasks but still in a flow that allows us for growth similar to what spring brings. So, from all this to you, I want to say that do what excites you, do what you love, even if it's just for 5 minutes, but just do it for your soul. We need lots of sparks and light in our life, and we are the ones who can go away from the shadows and give ourselves the joy. We will always wait for spring, but we have to keep with us the change. Otherwise, we will feel stagnant and the spring will never come.
Hope this video was fun to watch and listen to. See you next time.